words not be faint-hearted, but boldly do his part. He must not be faint-hearted, be it rain or frost or snow. shelter in the lee of Pendle, that mighty hill that dominates this part of East Lancashire. Ever since the human race settled here, this has been farming country, and men and women have given thanks and praise to God for the bounty he has provided. Every year we mark the safe delivery of a new generation of lambs with a service of celebration, the lambing service, bringing together the communities of Barley, New Church in Pendle, roughly and further afield. This year we are able to share that service to a wider audience than ever before through the wonders of technology. So wherever you are in the world, welcome. Come with us as we mark this special time of year. And we'll begin with a short prayer. Father, Lord of creation, by your eternal word you have created the universe and have blessed humankind in making us stewards of the earth. A rich land, a land of streams and springs, wheat and barley, cattle and sheep, a land which, carefully husbanded, can provide for all our needs. We thank you and praise you for your bounty and goodness to us, your faithful people. We join together in worship through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. work hard to make their fields have the best, greenest grass possible, but sheep can be daft. Instead of staying in their nice safe fields with lots of grass and care from their shepherd, they start thinking that the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. And sometimes they wander away from what they should be doing in search of something better. And they can end up in lots of trouble as a result. It can be dangerous and they end up not having the things that are good for them. Sometimes we can be like that lost sheep. We can stop doing what we're supposed to do and instead go in search of something that may seem better but actually is dangerous and not good for us instead. Jesus tells us a story about a lost sheep to let us know that However daft we've been, he always wants us back with him where we can be safe. Suppose one of you had a hundred sheep and one went missing. Are they all there? I've counted them three times. 96, 97, 98, 99. Where are they? Where are they? There's definitely one missing. You would leave the 99 to look for the one that is missing. I'll go and look for it. You would look everywhere and ask all your friends and neighbours if they had seen it. Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? Oh yes, I think it went that way. Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? No, but try over there. Have you seen my lamb? Uh, no, sorry, look down the road. <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? No, but try over there. Have you seen my lamb? I think it went that way. Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? No, sorry, try looking that way. Yeah. Have you seen my sheep? No, sorry, try over there. Hey, have you seen my lamb? No, sorry, try over there. Have you seen my lamb? I think it went that way. Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? Uh, no, I haven't, but it could be over there. Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? No, sorry, it might be over there. Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? No, you can no. try over there. Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? 
No, try over there. Have you seen my lamb? No, I'm sorry, I haven't, but if you look up there, you might find it. Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? Uh, unless it's over there. Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? No, but look over there. Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? No, I haven't seen it anywhere, but it might have gone that way. Excuse me, have you seen my lamb? This isn't it, is it? I think it's it. Oh, that's it, wonderful. When you find it, you would bring it home. Call your neighbours and friends and say, Hello, hello, I'm swinging up to tell you I found the lost sheep. Yes, yes, I found it. It was down at the garage at Barley. Yes, I want you to come and celebrate with me. It doesn't matter how far we wander away. God always wants us back. No matter who you are or what you've done. God is ready, willing, and able to forgive. Oh, found it, thank you. Can you catch it? Claire will show you how to make them. Because Claire's the one with the crafty 
Okay, so to make this craft really, really simple, dead easy, all you need is some wool. So you can have a white sheep, a grey sheep, blue sheep, or we're doing a multicoloured funky sheep. So I'm using a pom-pom maker. You can pick these up from any craft store, really easy to use. So you're just wrapping the wool around. When you've got it to the desired thickness that you want, we just... This is if you can remember how to use it. Oh, close them together. And then cut through. So you're making the sparky bits now, you see. We're doing some sharp scissors. Edward's here, he's just walked past. <laughs> mm. They were quite sharp when I was using thin oil. Yeah. Edward, are you coming to watch what we're doing? Mm. Well, so we're going to make this pom-pom shape. Maybe Edward could stick some eyes onto the face. Onto the face that I've we've turned comments off on the YouTube. Yeah. Wait, there's a sheep in it. <laughs> so once you've cut it, piece of Where wool. There's a lamb in here. What colour are you on? And mm. then oops, I've missed one. You just pop the wool around. Tie it in a knot and pull. Let's make it tight. Mandy remembers doing this with the cornflake packet. Don't you, Mandy? Yes, I do, yes. Because they didn't have these new things when Mandy was little. Yes. And, and then. To afford all the new fangled things. So <laughs> you just to... open the pom pom maker up. If I can remember how we, we do it, it's oh. been a while since I've used this. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> pop them out. Oh, that's because I didn't open the other one. You there like it? Yeah. And there, and then you can just trim off the spider. Since you mean said, trim off all the ends. Oh, there we go. Lovely. So you can trim the if you have some sharp scissors. Mandy's going to stick the face on. And I'm just going to get something to show you. It does look a bit strange, does that face? I think we've got a better face. And here, yeah, then look. we've got the real life lamb, and the lamb would like to play the game. Okay then. So, so Bertie, come on, lamb, eh, Bertina? Which one is it? Under. Let's move them around. Let's move them around. Move them around. Which one do you think it is, Bert? That one. That one. Oh, no. wrong shape. Try there. again.
Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. O Creator God, who has made us to live together, to love one another, and to love the land on which we live, we pray for ourselves that we may have the grace to preserve for those who come after the beauty of our landscape, the traditions of our people, and the strength of our local community. Amen. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, make you perfect in every good work to do his will and the blessing of God Almighty be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Shepherds are the best of men.